Hi everyone, I am very excited. I have these amazing clamshells. They're huge, like as big as my hand. I'm going to do something with you today. I'm gonna to create a little beach in shells. I'll probably do three at a time. Um, and then the other thing I got, which is going to be, this is not a spoiler, but a little enticer for a future video. I have some magnets and some iron filings. And I'm going to be creating something with, oh, look. <laughs> okay, the magnets are very strong because this is a lot of iron filings. I'm going to be creating some resin art using magnets and iron filings. So keep tuned to my channel and then you will see what I've got in store for you. Some very goodies. Right, before anything else, I'm going to get ahead and I'm going to do three, I'm going to do three at a time because to be honest, these are, they're not very deep and it's going to be easier to do three rather than one. So I have my sand from Turks and Caicos and I'm going to mix that with some, oh, this is heavy. Elmer's glue all. I'm going to create my beach around here first and then I will mix my resin and we'll make the ocean. And I gathered a whole ton of new shells and little tiny starfish from the beach and coral and lots of goodies. So let me get and mix the sand with the glue. My sand and glue are the right consistency so as you saw in the fast forward I added enough glue to really mix the sand and then it's too it becomes too runny and then you have to add more sand to get it to like a sculptural level because otherwise if I left it too runny when I'm gonna put my beach here it's just going to run back into the shell. Now I don't mind some of it running back because that's going to look more realistic with the ocean, um, but I don't want it all to run away from here. I want most of it to stay up here and look like a beach. So as you can see here, let me do it sideways. It's barely falling off the stick now. It's quite thick, almost like... Um, putty. So now I am going to create a beach and for that I'm going to have to use a little pointy tool. So I'm just going to lay my beach up here. See when it's thicker, see I dropped a bit there? It's really not going to, it's much more manageable. And it will run a little bit, as I say, and that's that's fine. I don't mind it doing that. So, and then while the sand is still wet, 
that's when we put the shells in. So you can see it. I, don't know if you, I hope you can see the sand is settling. I'm going to smooth it down. Now if you look, what we want to do is we want to fill the resin from um, this point. So the resin is going to be approximately this deep. So this sand is not going to get covered, which is exactly what we want. So I'm just going to smooth that over. Put some more. And these are really, really gorgeous table decorations. You can stand a little votive on top and have it as a centerpiece on a table or just, you know, a little ornament, a little beachy ornament. But whatever you want it for, it is gorgeous. Okay, so... I'm going to just smooth my sand up. On both edges. Smooth it there. Okay. So that's my beach. I'm going to have to let this dry before I do my resin. Otherwise, it's going to affect the resin. But in the meantime, I am going to place these, uh, the shells I collected recently. So I'm going to, and there's a few tiny pieces of coral. So I'm going to put my shells on the beach and then I have some tiny starfish which I really want to include and I do have some little flip flops that I might put in one just to show you like how, how this can be a lot of fun. So you can see I've done these three and I've done them all quite differently. I've done this one, very kind of neat and tidy, where I'm just like patting, well, it's drying up already. The more glue you put in, the quicker it dries. Um, this one I've done kind of rough and ready. I've kind of just put it down and, and spread it with my fingers. I'm going to have to put some shells in now though because once it's dry, the shells won't stick. And where are my starfish? Little tiny starfish. There's Penny again. I tell you, she needs her own channel. Um, and then this one I've done a lot rougher and I have these tiny little flip-flops that I'm going to include. So these are the little flip-flops that I got off Amazon and everything that I buy and use, oh I have this one too that I was doing, um, the link to everything I use that I buy on Amazon, quite frankly most of the stuff I buy on Amazon is what I use because AI free bin closed down. So I'm going to put my flip-flops 
in on this one, I think. Just press some, oops, lost a flip flop. Press them down. Oh, they're so, so adorable. Once the sand has dried, nothing is gonna move on this. And then I will add the resin. So yeah, I decided to do four. I could do a fifth because I have more sand, but I thought I would just try to keep you all in the frame. And I have some different types of shells, a little bit of coral. I think I'm gonna, no, oh, maybe the coral looks a bit bulky. And where are my shells? Oh, they are just, I had a field day. going out and collecting these and there's some tiny ones look at that it's so tiny I guess it's this time of year that you can collect them because I've been other times of the year there's a certain kind of area a beach that I go to that will have like hundreds thousands of these shells and then I went in I think it was December and there were none there. There we go. Oh, I could put a little pearl in that one. Oh, I have some tiny little beads. That's what I'm going to do. I am going to do the same with that one. Here. All right. I'm going to wait for these to dry. Then we'll come back and resin. Perfect. So I am... Um, just going to kind of eyeball it. I know this shell is sloping forward, so I'm going to use this plastic clay. Just to level that. My resin is mixed bubbles. I'm going to divide it. I also actually have some white. First of all, I'm going to put a little bit of clear resin in the bottom, just a smidge. And just because I want that to somehow give it a little bit of depth. This one is really not going to lead, not going to need a lot of resin. I got these inks in Michael's. Dela Rowney, although it's FW on the label, acrylic ink. I've shaken it and I've shaken it. It still looks yucky at the bottom. I'm going to divide this resin into three cups because I want the deep blue sea and the turquoise ocean and remember this is it's 1.4 ounces of the so approximately three ounces of resin between the two shells and I have the other two here off the side that I'll do off camera. So I'm going to do this one. And this one looks a lot more opaque. A lot more opaque. And this one I'm going to need a dropper for. Excuse me. We have them over here. little mixes because if I tip this it's gonna be a mess so I'm just gonna scoop it that should do all right so this is the Ooh. yeah see it's still translucent okay that's good and 
This is my Bombay ink teal. Love these inks. And I think what I'm going to have to do is play around. I'm going to use hardly any of that because I want this to be really light. And I need some white too. Ooh. Yeah, this is very opaque. Nice color though. Nice color. And my white, because I'm going to have to do, use it for the waves. And this is Light Body Opaque Acrylic by Jacquard. White. But I'm literally, so I'm going to put the resin in first. Barely going to use any. I'm going to just touch and touch. Yeah. Keep it as transparent as possible. That's fine. Okay. So, how to begin? I think I'm going to begin with the dark at the back. And how this is going to go is anyone's business, to be honest. I'm going to mix that. Oh, see, I like this color. Now I'm going to put some more clear in. Oh, yeah. Definitely, that's a quite deep shell. Those. And lots of bubbles. So this is interesting. I'm going to mix this around. So I could do it translucent or opaque, kind of like the translucent, to be honest, but I don't have enough clear mix. The, the other two that I've got left over, I'm going to do off camera. So I might just do those more translucent and we can have an opinion about which one we like the best. But definitely the deep blue needs to go in the bottom. Keep pouring in. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. I'm going to put some of the more opaque, kind of in the middle of the ocean, I think. Okay, so they all have resin in, tinted. The deeper you pour it, the more bubbles you get, so it's better to actually pour in smaller quantities. And this one's pretty full. I'm just pouring in clear now, and then I'm going to use the kind of sculpy clay to position it. I'm not worried about this little drip here. I can get that off afterwards to position where I want the resin to lie. A bit bubbles because it's slightly transparent. You get this beautiful water like effect. So 
So I like this. I like adding the colour first and then just having the clear on top. Okay, now I'm going to use this to position my shells exactly how I want them. And then I'm going to take one of my little stir sticks and rinse this there. Now it looks like water. I still got to put the waves on top. Penny, is that you digging in the background? Why are you doing that? I am going to do a whole video on Penny's behavior. She's such a good dog. Oh my goodness, what a mischievous one she is. All right, I need to adjust that one. This needs stirring. ink mixed up with the clear. Oh, this one's gorgeous. It's my fave. All right. Let me see if I'm happy with the position. This one, not so happy with. Let me prop that one over a bit. That's good. This one's good. That one's perfect. This one's good. Pop these bubbles. There's tons of bubbles that are rising as we speak. Right, so the other thing I'm going to do is take some white for some surf and just drizzle this here. I'm going to take my heat gun in a minute. This one I already kind of drizzled a little bit, but I want some more. And this one. And this one. Well, they're all so different. All right. These are adorable. So once they're dry, and I'm going to babysit these for about half an hour and just keep popping the air bubbles. But once they're dry, we'll come and take a look. It is another disgusting drab day in Connecticut. Let me just show you outside. July and pouring with rain. Where did our summer go? Anyway, so oh, to try and show you these. I might have to take you somewhere else. Rebecca Gauss, if you're watching, this one's for you, my friend, my flip flop, crazy, obsessed friend. Um, anyway, they did come out really, really cute and look like water. Um, so that's a good, that's a good view. The big one's really pretty. Let me see if I can tilt this up. I'm gonna tilt them all up. There we go, lighting's better now. My little sandy shell beaches. Instead of a shell on the beach, it's a beach on the shell. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna do more of these. I have plans. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.